What up, what up, my good people? I'm back with my two cents. Man, today, it's all about the body issue. Uh, big shout out to my boy Vince Wilfork, who made the body issue 2016 the ESPN body issue. I'm super proud. I'm a fan of Vince Wilfork. I'm a big Patriots fan, so I've been knowing about Vince for a while, man. Shout out to him. Um, not only because uh, he made the body issue, uh, because uh, Prince Fielder made it last year, I believe. I believe it was last year. So Prince Fielder made that body issue as well. But Vince is a little bigger than than Prince is, a little less defined. So I appreciate that because I'm a bigger guy myself. And to see someone who looks like me in the ESPN body issue is, is so dope. Because so many people want you to conform to what they believe your body should look like. Everybody's not going to be a size two. And I want people to feel comfortable in the fact that, hey, if you're big and you're and you're healthy, because you can actually be a nice size and still be healthy, be healthier than some of the people that are smaller than you. But I want you to be if you're happy, then you do that. You can sit there and look. You can look and see that 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 the trend can change ashley graham got the cover of sports illustrated now regardless of the feedback that she got good or bad she got and she has people talking same thing right now i'm talking about vince wilfork and him making this uh this body issue so if you're more if you're more fierce than afraid then i salute you if your fashion sense is as high as your self-esteem i salute you don't let body shamers get you down because at the end of the day, you only have one life to live, so you live it happily. You, know, you can look and see that there's examples out here that you can become someone on the cover of a national magazine and not wear a size zero or a size two. So I salute you. Now, let me know how you feel in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe.